Hi, I'm Lauren Nagel with BonAppetit.com. Today I've partnered with my friends here at Omaha Steaks to share some tips and tricks to cooking the perfect steak. So when it comes to cooking a great steak, you're really only gonna use two main methods. You're either going to grill it or you're going to sear it in a cast iron pan. As a former culinary arts teacher, I love a really good compare and contrast, so today I'm gonna break it down and we're gonna talk about both grilling and cast iron searing today so that no matter what you decide to do, you're successful no matter how you make your steak. I'm gonna break down this whole process today for you in four main steps. We're gonna talk about prepping our steak, preheating our pan and preheating our grill, searing our steaks, and then we're also gonna talk about resting and slicing. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's get started because I'm ready to eat some steak today. These look so great, let's do it. I've had these Omaha Private Reserve ribeye steaks sitting out at room temperature for a little bit here. What I'm gonna do really quickly is just take a paper towel and remove any excess moisture and natural juices off of the top. And this is what's going to help ensure a really nice crispy crest when we sear either in the cast iron or get those really nice diamond shaped lines when we go to grill. If you have a lot of excess liquid or moisture on the outside of the steak, you're gonna end up steaming your meat and not browning it instead. So because I'm using a really good quality meat, I'm just adding salt right now. I'm gonna let these hang out. I'm not adding any oil or anything yet. We'll do that before we go and actually sear. Preheating is a really crucial component and you do wanna take the time to make sure that your grill and your cast iron are up to the right temperature. So meat actually browns at a temperature that's over 500 degrees. I like to stick between 550 to 600 on my grill and I actually like to preheat my cast iron pan as well in an oven that's at 525 before I go to add it to the heat and actually do a sear. So while your steaks are resting, make sure you get both of those things set up and ready to go. slicing is obviously taking a bite so let's get a quick bite of this grilled steak here oh my gosh mm. Mm -hmm. oh so good it's like butter so what I like about grilled steak specifically is that you get that beautiful charcoal flavor that comes through and then you get those nice classic diamonds across the top so that's just very beautiful to look at but let's talk about a pan seared steak, a cast iron steak. You get that beautiful crust and it's just so good. You get that all over flavor. Mm. It is like melting in my mouth. So good. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can find this full written tutorial for both of these cooking methods over on the Omaha Steaks blog at omahasteaks.com. And now I'm gonna sit here and eat all of the steak. <laughs>